We head now to Nantucket Island, 30 miles off the coast of Massachusetts, as the duck flies. Long-tailed ducks are difficult to see and study because they live offshore. But that hasn't stopped intrepid researchers from the Massachusetts Audubon Society and the U.S. Geological Survey. They crisscross the island looking for the best vantage point to observe the elusive birds. Oh, no, no, now they're coming where we just were. <laughs> He's at this point. There's nothing going on there. It's dead. Their observations tell them long-tailed ducks fly by the hundreds of thousands from the sound every morning, disappearing beyond the horizon. They are very, very mysterious, and all we know is what we can observe of their commutes every single day. We see them pouring out of the sound at dawn, and then pouring back into the sound at the end of the day. But where they're spending the night once the sun goes down and where they're spending most of the day during the day offshore remains more or less a mystery. Recently, it's become vitally important to solve the case of the disappearing ducks. An energy company is proposing to build a wind farm in Nantucket Sound, much like this one. Conservationists worry that seabirds could get caught in the whirling blades. At Maryland's Patuxent Wildlife Research Center, researchers determined the best way to monitor the movement of the birds in the wild was to implant satellite transmitters in some of the birds. But first, they had to make sure the surgery and the antennas wouldn't cause undue harm. Researchers must make sure the antenna don't interfere with the bird's ability to fly, dive, mate, or feed. Everything checks out fine, so it's determined it's safe to put the devices in Nantucket's wild population. That's going to be a lot harder than handling ducks in captivity. As it turns out, long-tailed ducks are one of the toughest ducks in the world to catch. They are extremely fast. We can figure that they do at least 70 miles an hour without even trying. The plan, stun some sleeping ducks by shining a bright light into their eyes and then scooping them up with a long handle net. There are numerous false starts and misses. There he is, no, wait, out. But even though it may seem an impossible task, the crew is able to snag several ducks over several nights. The next day, the ducks have an appointment with the veterinarian. Several of the healthy adults are selected for implants. The implanted transmitters will send signals to a satellite every few days for more than a year. Now the bird watchers will know where the long tails go, and they won't need their chase cars and binoculars. Downloaded on a computer, the satellite imagery shows the good news. They seem to roost away from the proposed wind farm. One of the main objectives of this study was to see whether or not they were using the Cape Wind project area as a roosting site. Of the roughly 600 data points that we have, not a single one of them falls within the project area. Researchers will continue monitoring the long tails. The satellite implant in this little duck, waking from the anesthesia, will provide vital data about where the flock migrates and where they go to breed seems their future is in caring hands.